Within these video workflows you'll see this base model that I've been altering throughout some of the videos. It has been quickly generated by using MapRoom, which I have been using to extract the data entered into OpenStreetMap. MapRoom creates a quick and easy model that you can then sort through, that being the data and the separate layers, making it easy to adjust all the preset modifiers within the stack if you need to. The plugin generates the preset modifiers from data available from a number of sources. This map style from MapRoom has used data that was entered into OpenStreetMap from myself and other students. This modelled site is in the suburb of Melbourne called Heidelberg. The extent parameters within a 1km radius spanning out from the train station. These are the preset modifiers that build up the original source data which have been separated into layers of building types, building heights, roads and other components. One of the main alterations to form and visual representation of the site will be through creating this pipe network around the city. This is going to be made by using the plugin Typhlow. We'll start this process by birthing particles that we'll then send out as splines. With Typhlow selected, go to the modifier stack and open the Typhlow editor. Then drag birth into your editing scene. Next we'll go to place underneath the birth a position icon to surface and we'll have to go to the forces tab and locate the tie icon and create a surface that we can then select and position where we'd like the particles to birth from. I'm planning on constructing an underground precinct here, so I'll set my icon below the current train station. I'll now go back into the position icon surface and pick the icon that I've just created. You can now see under the surface particles being generated as the animation tab is slided forward. In part 2 we will go over how to move these particles and add a spline to them.